Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald says there is not a bill for medical marijuana that he will support. In 2020, he hopes to focus on decreasing property taxes. Amy Reid explains what head lawmakers are planning for the state next year. Some are going to go through. And I don't know if the rest of them. In 2019, we saw the state legislature pass a budget, spar with the governor, and vote down a cabinet secretary. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald told reporters today with some of the other cabinet picks, there are concerns, and he's not sure they'll all be in by the end of the session. What he hopes they do accomplish is a cut to property taxes. I'm hearing it already in the district. People are a little surprised. I know it's still anecdotal. Um, but people are concerned about a, a bump in their property tax bill. He hopes by the end of the legislative agenda, they'll have money left over to return to the public in tax cuts. Thank Assembly you. Speaker Robin Voss hopes some of the bills they'll take up in the meantime will help with crime. That's one of the things that we really want to focus on is to make sure we keep people safe. So we're going to have an entire package of proposals that we'll announce in January that will really hopefully focus on what we think is the root cause of the problem, and that's making sure we have access to mental health care while at the same time locking up the people who commit a crime and deserve to be behind bars. He also hopes to tackle prescription drug pricing by addressing pharmacy benefit managers, one of the players in health care getting the blame for rising costs. But as for a drug some Wisconsinites want to turn to, medical marijuana, while Voss said he would support it, Fitzgerald said with the substances he's already trying to regulate, alcohol, opioids, and meth, he won't take this on. So we've got all these issues. We're spending all this, this um, not only revenue, but just uh, energy trying to get a control on these um, substances that are just wreaking havoc across the state. I don't know why this is a good time to introduce legal marijuana in Wisconsin. I just don't. It doesn't make any sense to me. Amy Reid reporting. We also spoke with Senator Fitzgerald about funding to prevent homelessness and the future of the Republican Party and the Wisconsin legislature. For that, you can head to our website, channel3000.com.